everyone and welcome to another video in the fourth art saturday hop and uh, this month's theme is art technique uh, and um, i have a very abstract way of seeing things sometimes I have an abstract way of creating. So for this particular video and for the sake of the hop and the theme, uh, I have chosen to do a little bit of an art creation in inspired by the incredible artist from Japan and her name is Yayo Kosama and she has from an early age started to create her dots and circles in a way to describe her reality so for me her creations and paintings are really inspiring so i am about to do an inspired art page with dots and circles and so on um, with the dots and circles in mind i'm just going to do some in different kind of styles and I don't know for me I have always loved circles they make me feel secure I feel like circles is kind of a hug it might be strange to see it like that but to me circles really are hugs look at this one it goes around and all the way around you that might be her thing too i don't know but i can really in a way relate to her loving circles as I do too. Circles are loving. Squares are hard. That is at least how I feel. I can actually understand the way that she describes circles to be her way of describing the world she also uses really bright and happy colors so that is what i am going to do i have as a way of trying to describe the way that i create also talked a little bit about how to create something and feel. I like the paint where it's blobby like this. And it's not actually looking like something. Just a feel of actually creating. And not think as much. It's kind of fun when you're thinking about it. It's, as I told you, circles, they are hugging and loving to me. And um, triangles, they are a bit edgy. <laughs> and squares are 
hard for me real art is to create it's not what you create that's the at least my way of seeing it just to have the process of creating and then of course create whatever you feel it's right for you more important just just to do a thing and the most important of all is do not whatever you do compare yourself to another crafter or another artist you do your creations because creativity looks so many different ways so least as of right now I am making this universe of circles almost looking like some kind of picture from the Milky Way or something This can also be the support that we have. That we are gathered, all of us, in different circles right now. But we are still together as a whole. I don't know about you, but for me, it is really a feeling. For me, the actual creativity thing, the all the way of trying to be cre creative is a way of expressing different kind of feelings in different ways. and yeah some of you also know that i have actually used art in therapeutic ways so this is actually going to represent us as human beings so let's continue um, to add some colors because we need that. We are unique and we need to be. The world wouldn't be the same without every one of you. Unique human beings. This lovely pink. Let's look into some other color. When it comes to Yayoka Salma, uh, she has been doing art for many, many, many years and she has created art 
since she was a little girl there are a lot of pieces statues she has made and of course the dot and circle art and loads of galleries throughout the world has her art So my aim with this is to try to inspire you to do you. Inspire you to do whatever feels right to you. Because that is really important. I'm going to outline these. So I will add dots and circles to this. Let's look into actually putting some circles around this last little dots. We need ourselves some dots. Can we really have enough dots in our lives? As dots to me represents happiness. Dots to me represents creativity at it's best. I can actually like go around at them as well. And you might call this doodle. but it's circles. I'm going to put one there. Felt it needed one. I am going to say that this painting is finished for now and this will be the result for the 
fourth art saturday in february inspired by the lovely japanese artist yayuka sama and um, don't forget to look down in the description box for all the other participants in this hop and all the information thank you so much bye